Welcome to Integration TV. In this four episode special, join me, your host, Hoden Nalea, as I travel by car across the beautiful lands, meet inspiring entrepreneurs, and the next generation of educated youth. Come with me on this breathtaking journey of nature, food, and fun as I return home. On today's show, we're on the road of nature. Check out our journey to Las Anod as we pass through the Sheikh Mountains. I will see some nurses at the hospital I was born in, and in our Let's Talk About It segment, we'll meet an entrepreneur who will return to bring more than just food to the city. Finally, I will get my chance to drink some camel milk. Oh my god, this is so good! This is Integration TV, the first English television for Somalis around the world. This episode of Integration is brought to you by Bilal Restaurant, your destination for Somali food in Toronto. Guys, I'm going to LA, you know, Los Anos, where I was born. Listen to Tupac. Um, I'm excited. This is my first time coming home. We're leaving, we just came to Hargeisa. Now we're driving to a, I guess, a six hour drive to my little town, LA. My journey started in the beautiful city of Hargeisa. With a population of 750,000, Hargeisa's traffic is no joke. The streets are full and the people are shopping. Hargeisa is home to many successful entrepreneurs and we'll explore it right after our journey to Las Anod. We continue driving to LA. Our drive was smooth once we reach the outskirts of Hargeisa. With long winding roads and beautiful green landscapes, the Sheikh Mountains are a beauty to see. <laughs> We're almost like halfway through going up Sheikh Mountains and I just couldn't help but want to sit right here and this beautiful just I'm just in awe that this is our land every day guys everywhere I go around the country the beauty and the nature of Somalia and the Dulki Somalida is just beautiful and uh, it's gorgeous it just reminds me of this beautiful lesson in life that we should appreciate everything we have around us because once we start seeing the things that we have around us, we start to develop a greater appreciation of our own lives. It's amazing people are isolated in small villages, but yet so connected. There are approximately six towns between Hargeisa and Las Anod. We finally arrive as the sun is setting. Welcome to Last Anod. That's right guys, I've arrived in the city where I was born. Can you imagine? Just in the early 1940s, settlements started coming to this city and this city was built with people like my grandfather who came back from the diaspora from Aden and all his kids and they built homes here and they settled here in the city called Las Anod. So I'll be giving you a tour of my city. So we just drove straight to Las Anod Hospital. This is where I was born. And this woman who's been here since 1984 as a nurse, mm -hmm. Halima Hassan, is gonna take us around and she's gonna show us. So if you guys notice, there's a bunch of students that are around here. Um, a lot of the girls are studying to be nurses because it's such a needed, I guess, career here. So many women die giving birth in this area and all over Somalia actually. So women are basically, this is like the number one industry. <laughs> we need more nurses and more doctors qualified. And we just arrived in maternity well, ward where I was born. What is it called? Wotka? Wotka? No, Kurka. Umulaha? Umulaha? 
Maternity reward. Okay, that's what it means in Somali. <laughs> so this is the original room ha. that my mother gave birth in. Ha. And yeah. only said that's a reclamation, yale. Ha. Qaybi kala haga na yallan. Wow. Wahal nukila na qayb kala kala hada lagu dalay misa. So qol kan hada dhaqtar inta na aga chowi chile mar kida laya inta qo. Sadh kliya. Sadh kliya. Mar kha sadh baal chifniya inta kala haga la chifniya hadi. Wa ina bubsi so an bahal. Hasi bahal. Allah. Wa makan makan haga na lay kaga. Misa kala hada lagu dalay sa. Guys, I just think about myself when I gave birth and how different the hospital in the U.S. is in Canada. It's just, look at this, three, bed, three beds, okay, for hundreds of Somali women that give birth to a lot of children. It's just three beds. This is the original bed. Oh my God. So this is the original bed that woman gave birth in, subhanAllah. Yeah. Wow. Will you wear no shirt? Ah, it's so weird. Oh no. She said, "What's so weird?" She said, "Take a picture with the bed." How can I? Am I acting like I'm giving birth right now? What's going to get now? Oh, 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 oh. Can you imagine this hospital only has this birthing bed? I'm just in shock right now. The simple things that we take for granted. You know, many of you diasporas that are in the West that are nurses or doctors. You can contribute to healthcare in Somalia just by getting equipment for a lot of the hospitals here. Just one, one bed. And there's no female doctors, she says, Halima. The nurse. Wow. So we just finished our tour of the actual hospital and we just come outside. I noticed this big tank. This is like water here? So this is a water tank? Yeah, water tank. Okay. The, it's not water system oh, yeah. in the whole town, Las Anod. So the entire tank. city of Las Anod has no water system. Yeah, I can't no believe this. System. So, be, uh, so the water is brought in by a truck and the yeah. truck dumps the water in the tank. Yeah. What about, how do you make it hot? Yeah. There's no hot water? No. Ah! I know, Saka, I showered with cold water today for the first yeah. time in a long time. Yeah. I was appreciating hot water, guys. <laughs> so there's no hot That's, water. That water, mm -hmm. only hotel has a, a soft water. Soft water. Our hotel, they have a... So the hot. water is hard here. Yes, it's hard. Somali uh, yes. 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 So it's hard yeah. water. It's not really yes. cleansed water. Yeah. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Okay. But I still like hot showers, guys, but no more cold showers for me. <laughs> so this is the nursing school. We're going to go inside and check out the nursing school. Yeah. So this is funny. This lady is saying hi to me here. And she's saying that she, <laughs> she's saying she knows my sister. Come here. Come here. Yes. So what is she about the about the Yes. 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 <laughs> this is the best part when you come back home. People know you for generations. My sister Faisa went to nursing school. Nursing school high, nursing school in Mogadishu. 1982, 1983. Wow, mashallah. This is Dakan Ellis 101. High heels? Forget it, okay? <laughs> okay, Habir. So this is the nursing school. This is where the girls learn how to be nurses because they need to train more young women to be nurses. Do you guys speak English? My yes, yes. Say wallahi. Yes, I oh, Okay. Yes. Let's talk English then. You always wanted to be a uh, midwife? And midwife. Why, why did you study this? I'm studying here only. Well, why? Why? I'm house Okay. I, I want to be a uh, midwife. Mm -hmm. I would like uh, my future to be a gynecologist. Gynecologist. Yeah, I like ah. to be, if, if Allah say. Inshallah, yes. I, Mashallah. I think you have Aruma Dasha. Yes. Wallahi. Yes. <laughs> what? Far. After Arur? Yes. No way. Are you? I need a love and lay high. Two kids. Yeah. <laughs> How you have after kids? Yes, I four have kids, four. and you go to school. Uh, yes, I have two. Okay, sit back. Give me three. high five. Two of us, I won't get. I have. Wallahi. Yes, yes. Wow, yeah. mashallah. Mm -hmm. I thought she was a like, good. It's seventeen, but we have to have. Uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were like seventeen years old. <laughs> uh, uh, yes, after after being married, they say you are not uh, still. You are not still uh, married. No. But I say I was married, and I wanted to be continuous my language, uh, my education. Good for you. Yeah. That's, uh, so you're still married? No, just uh, I'm not, oh. not married. We are separated, just. Wallahi! 
صوت بعد بتاعي سينجل ماذر كلمة ده صوت تقرأنا مهيل أنا صومالي ده سينجل ماذر وست كلمة ده سينجل ماذر هو ده مكي نيكي مكي أوي ده كرتقي أنا بس سينجل ماذر إنجليش واي مهيل صومالي إسكابرو إسكابرو Okay, me too. And you? Yes. Whoa. Oh my God. So after you have four kids by yourself? Yes, I have four. Um, but uh, I live just. I love my. my I live for my mother. She, my mother. She will say you have to take your education. Don't neglect it from your children. I am living for your children. I am growing it. But you have to uh, to uh, to develop your education. Sah. Okay. Sah. I say. Uh, Yes. 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 This episode of Integration is brought to you by Bilal Restaurant, your destination for Somali food in Toronto. Welcome back to Integration TV. My visit to Las Anoth cannot be complete without food because I tell you, anywhere you travel in this great country, if you find the right places with the right food, you will remember that city like never before. Um, there's a young man who returned to this city uh, from Manchester, UK, and he's here to revive the flavors of Las Anod, especially the gale, which is camel meat. This city has always been known as a tradition of great camel meat. And you know, camels are very expensive Somali culture, especially when it comes to girls, you know. <laughs> girls get paid like 100 camels by their family when they get married to someone else. But now it's 200 here, guys. The standard has changed. So Fuad Ahmed Ali is here with me all the way from UK to revive Somali culture in Las Anod. Welcome. Thank you, Hadan. Welcome. I'm so excited. Thank you. You have the best food. Best, 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 best food. Yeah, it's amazing. The food is fresh, daily made, and it's really good. You can have the anchero with suqar. You can have the traditional and uh, otka amamukmad, as they say. You can have all sort of Somali traditional food and don't forget the orange juices and all of them are fresh as well. Oh, I love it. Mm. So the restaurant is pronounced Aran? Aran, double A R A N. Aran. Aran 252, yeah. which is the area code of all of Somalia. Yep, absolutely. So this is exciting. You decided to open a restaurant. Why did you come back to Las Anod? Well, I came back because uh, when I was in UK, I always felt a part of me is in Somalia and I had to go back one day and return and do something. And I left in Las Anad when I was really young, very young, and my memory in Las Anad when I was young is just, well, I left there when I was, let's just say, about seven. And went to Addis in Ethiopia, then from there went straight to Manchester, UK. And, and all this time, there was always part of me that felt one day I'm gonna go back and bring something back to, take something back to Las Anad and special Somalia, Las Anod. And Alhamdulillah, finally, and I came back. I feel so at home here. I feel like my spirit and my connection to this city just it just came on me absolutely. as soon as I came in this city. You like, you yeah. absolutely feel the fiber. As soon as you enter Las Anod, Burahat, Sogashit, yeah. then you feel the energy of the city. Oh, it's this, really... This, I mean, even when I was in Mogadishu, I was always surprised, like, everything shuts down at a certain time of <laughs> night. But this city comes alive in the dark. Like the, the young kids here, so many youth just hanging out on the streets, enjoying, laughing. I was like, this last I know it's like the party spot. The city is, is really very business oriented. There's a lot of entrepreneurs here. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's just amazing. I mean, I'll have to be honest with you. I'm just shocked there's so much wealth here. Mm -hmm. And people downplay this city like it's nothing. Like the people here are really living life. There's business going on all hours of the day. Absolutely, business because where it is Las Anod is somewhere that is in the center, and you have a people from the east Somalia coming direct to Las Anod, then you have the south Somalia from Galkai Street. You get and people coming down. Then you've got the DDSI, which is Ethiopia side. You got the people coming here direct route, and then you've got the people coming from Hargeisa and the north of Somalia so it's straight down. So basically sitting in the middle of all, Absolutely. all of some every road that you can leave yep. here leads yep. to different parts of Somalia. Absolutely, this is why it's a place where all the cultures also meet, yes. and you've got a lot of history as well. So combine all that together brings a great energy. Yes. 
into the city, so it's Beautiful. really amazing. Lovely. So if you build in Las Anod, would always remain Las Anod. Yes. Whatever you build in here, whatever you build your hometown, will be there forever. But thank yeah. you so much, no, and thank welcome you. back to Las Anod. No, thank you. And I will be back summer again, inshallah. <laughs> thank you, thank Great. you very much. This is Integration TV. We've been broadcasting live from my hometown, Las Anod, baby. No more disputed land, not in my heart. So we just arrived guys, we just drove here all the way out to look at this miraculous land. We're all the way outside the city skirts of Las Anos. But I'm gonna get to see some camels because I wanna know about this amazing milk called camel milk that actually has a lot of health benefits. And this is what the people in this city that I grew up was born in live on and eat and drink every day. The wealthiest animal, camels. Let's go guys, let's go check out some camels. and Fuad, they're gonna show us the camels. Fuad actually owns these camels, guys. Can you imagine? People that own camels. Come on, let's go check it out. <laughs> so guys, I'm gonna try it for the first time, camel milk. Woo! Oh my god, this is so good! Okay, can I have more? Yeah, yeah. Is it Malaba or Waladama? What is it? Waladama. Waladama. Mmm. Well, life is better than cow milk. I will never drink cow milk again. <laughs> the camels here are so amazing. Look at that. It came from this fresh animal and I drank it. Oh my god, this is the best milk. I can't stop drinking it. I hope nothing happens to me later, guys. Because <laughs> I heard like after you drink this, you're gonna have like a some serious like you know what. <laughs> okay, Kaltoon. Ap Woo, Kaltoon. <laughs> How long is little? Hold it. Ah! Wait, the man is hot. How is this? So we just finished drinking the camel milk. I'm so excited because this amazing man, he's the one who's responsible for to keeping all these camels in check and bringing milk to the city for the restaurant that just opened. So tell me this, like, each other, intestine out gill with it. 25. Lawatan your sunshine out with it, mashallah. Hey, I'm so abna. This the best milk. I'm sure you get a little bit of gill and a little bit of gill and a little bit of gill. Yes. I'm not going to get a little bit of gill. I'm not going to get a little bit of gill. I'm not going to get a little bit of gill. I'm not going to get a little bit of gill. I'm not going to get a little bit of gill. Guys, when girls get married, they go off with the camels to the new city of their new husband. So, I'm going to be taking off with the camels now. Bye, guys. This episode of Integration is brought to you by Bilal Restaurant, your destination for Somali food in Toronto. Look at all these beautiful mountains surrounding us and every corner of it, nature. This is amazing. Today I gathered some women from around the city and I was like, listen girls, I need to go and back Duck and Alice, is that what they call it? So today I'm gonna to learn some traditional last animal dances because I'm excited. And I got my traditional clothes on. Can you believe it? Almost ready for a wedding. What do you guys think? Let's get going. We're going to learn some Somali traditional dances from this area. Welcome to Las Anod, where we're going to teach you the LA dances. Okay, let's go, ladies.